Hello everyone, this is Shubhranil and today we are going to see how to execute Python script using CGI HTTP server. So we are using Python version 2.7 and we will be executing running the CGI HTTP server which is a CGI HTTP library CGI HTTP server.py okay, using which we will create a server uh, on, a, uh, on a default port 8000 and we will run the script Python script from the web browser. So first we will go to the command line and uh, we have to be in the, the Python directory. Okay, so Python root directory from here we have to run the CGI HTTP server and after that we will just go to the browser and execute the Python script. So before, uh, after running the server I will show you some uh, small steps where we will just uh, show that how to run the CGI script. Uh, I mean Python script from the browser and what are the uh, steps and rules we have to maintain to execute such script. So first let us start the CGI HTTP server. The syntax is Python or python.exe hyphen m then and this just follow the letter case. Okay, this have to be certainly like this. Okay, CGI HTTP is in uh, S HTTP S uh, server S of server. This will be in caps and after that ER VER which is in small. Okay, so suppose we just change the order, say we just change the P to small. So what will happen? No module named this. Suppose we just no module. Okay, so we have to be maintain this. Case, this is very case sensitive, case sensitive. Okay, and so serving HTTP on 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 .0 port 8000. Okay, so you know this is the uh, IP address which is used by the server. Okay, so we can. This is specifically a common address. Okay, so what will happen is that if you are uh, uh, machine has multiple IP address and uh, when this address is used it is uh, this server is accessible from all the IPs okay suppose you use different subnet okay so 10.1.2.1 192.168.1.1 or 198.168.0.1 whatever okay whatever may, may be how many IP address your machine have so it will be accessible from every IP if you when this 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 is used and port is default 8000 and you can also mention the port like uh, you give this and just mention a port I will just mention 9001 so it is now running on 9001 so let it be in this uh, this one and let us open another command line so now what happened, we are in Python 2.7 2 directory and for running the uh, Python script, okay, so we need the CGI, is, okay, so CGI environment and this script will only run, not from here. Suppose, uh, let us uh, do one thing, let us run some, start.py, okay, suppose we have finance.py, so we first we have to we will run the server localhost 9001 okay so it is uh, by default listing the directory the directory listing what is in the python to python this directory okay so suppose we if we go here and we do dir it will give all the list of files and directories which is here Okay, so now we do, if you run this file finance.py, it is actually showing the code. Okay, because it will it is not executable from this directory. So for that, what we need to do, we see we have a directory called CGI hyphen bin. So this is the actual exe Python executable directory. So all the modules you want to execute Python modules, you have to keep in this CGI hyphen bin. Okay, 
so suppose we just move to this one if you uh, click on this see the, it, the directory listing not, no, is not there okay so it, it, the error response cgi script is not a plain file something like that okay so the script you it want to it, it uh, is executing is not uh, it's compatible or it's not finding any uh, runnable script there okay so that, that's why it is giving now we will do what thing There is a file called CGI prog one dot py. We will run this. <coughs> okay, so it is hello from CGI HTTP server. Now what we will do? We will just uh, copy this. Uh, CGI prog py back. In this root directory, okay. One file is copied, so just go back and back, and you see uh, there is a file called uh, CGI proc. Just refresh, yes, CGI proc one. Now, when you execute this from the root one, it is again, again showing the code, okay. So, it is not executable. So, what we can see, it is only executable from CGI bin. I prop one same thing py okay so let us now write the script uh, show you to how to write the script uh, it's not necessary okay but still we will write a script and execute it so I have cleared the cgi prop one dot py so we will start with the uh, setting the environment for setting the environment for python and you have to add this line i mean this is a header declaration okay content type you have to give a header which will tell that whether it is a what it is it is a plain text well it's a plain text or it's a html file okay so and you have to obviously give a new line you can either give a new line here or you can just print do this print just this print blank okay which will like actually print a new line so we will not do this we will just do you can do either backslash n okay so now sorry html head title Title head. Okay, let us move to another line. Sorry, body body HTML. So in the title, we will just keep say hello CGI. And in the body section, say the hello from CGI HTTP server. Okay, so we are done with this. And let us uh, make some changes here. Okay, so suppose we give uh, here H1. And let's say, uh, let us make it italic. I hope this works. Run it. Okay, so it's now H1, larger text with an italic style. And this is uh, how we can execute script calling a CGI HTTP server. Now we will just see. Whenever we are executing, see, exited, okay, then we again execute, okay, so it will just send a response, okay, so this response, this, re this is a request, so request is coming from the web server, which is showing here, and the response is the HTML parts. Now what we'll do, we will just uh, change this text HTML to text plain, see what will happen. <coughs> Okay, 
so now it's showing the code okay it's just text explain means it's it's a it's a html document but um, the python script is not showing but it is showing as a text okay so it's not passing as an html so this is what <coughs> depends on what you declare on the as a on the header okay so in the header i will just give this one and execute and that's all now if you stop the server control break and then execute this okay so it will not the server is not running so it will not found unable to connect so now if you want to go to default port <coughs> just change this now also it will not run as usual so i just go to the 9001 and change this to 8000 okay so that's all how you can connect uh, to the <coughs> execute script through using cgi http server uh, just remember that you need this uh, library and if it is not there all you can do is <coughs> just close this one use the command pip install cgi http server it's installed so i will not execute run this command so when you run this it will automatically install it from the repository and after that you can use this server http server so uh, this is all about this and uh, another thing don't forget to use the cgi hyphen bin directory in your python root directory and keep all the modules in that cgi hyphen bin to make it executable from the browser so that's all about this <coughs> tutorial i hope you like this and if you like this please place the like button also subscribe to my channel and you can share this video on or your other social networking site okay and that's all about thank you very much